Hey friends, it's Kevin here. I hope you're doing well. I felt led by the Lord to come to you today and share a powerful encounter and vision I had with the Lord recently during one of our prayer sets. And I believe this word specifically is for seasoned, mature believers, for pastors, fivefold ministers, kingdom leaders from all walks of life. You could be a Christian CEO, entrepreneur, executive, as well for those who has been in ministry for a long time. In this prophetic vision, I saw a mighty battle between a seasoned, mature warrior and a demonic entity. And a demonic entity probably is a size anywhere probably between 20 to 30 feet height, just a you know horrendous, fierce looking creature, right? Uh, that's fighting this warrior. And in the division, I know instantly this warrior was very mature, seasoned, fairly high ranking in battle. Uh, th this particular word knows know what he is doing. And he was covered with silver armor that's mixture of, you know, laced with leathers and different things, a beautiful armor. And in the beginning of the battle, they were just fighting back and forth and fe seemingly fairly even matched. They were just trading punches back and forth, back and forth. And in the, in the, in the vision, I can tell the, this particular warrior, seasoned warrior, that he was very confident and he was very assured and the, especially towards the beginning of battle he knows he's gonna he, he should be able to gain victory in a very short amount of time against this demonic entity and again the battle went on and it was fairly even matched right back and forth back and forth um neither side was tend seemed to lose steam and and and, and power and forces eventually the battle drawn on for a long time and and I can see as the battle draw on the 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 seasoned warrior start losing confidence because he did he was he was surprised and he did not anticipate the battle was going to be drawn on this long this is a far longer than any battle that he have ever encountered or experienced at, at all so he was he felt surprised and that 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 surprise start uh, causing him to lose confidence, and you can tell the battle starts swaying uh, in terms of strength and victory towards the demonic entity. Although they're still going back and forth, I mean he's still getting back up and, and fight, getting back up again. He got back up over and over and over again until I saw one punch in the vision. Right, there was a, a mighty blow from the, this demonic entity against this warrior and knock him straight to the almost like a, a foot hell of a mountain. Right, he knocked him straight to, to a rock bed and shattered some of the rock. But then he was beat up, just laying on his back. And he realized, man, Lord, I don't know if I can get back up again right now. I'm not sure I can get back up. And he couldn't move. And he just looked up. And I, I saw the vision. He looked up in the sky. He said, Lord, I commend my spirit to you. And instantly in that moment, it reminded me Jesus when he was on the cross and spoke to the Father. He said, Lord, I surrender. I commend my spirit to you. In that, in that moment, that it reminded me that the, the vision reminded me that uh, the scripture were where Jesus was right at the, the finished work of the cross. And suddenly, a beam of light in the vision came down. Like a mighty circular beam of light just came right down in the surrounding area of this warrior. And it was a, it, the light was so strong. It was, it was super bright. It's a, it was just a glorious white light engulfing this warrior right, right on top of him. And when the demonic entity saw this, he... He was not only surprised, he started uh, trembling. I can tell visibly the demonium start backing off, actually. He saw walking himself back, one by one. And, in, and I saw this warrior got taken up in this being of light, right? Almost like it was, he was flowing. He was just basically taking him up in a light in the midst of the air. And I couldn't see exactly what happened within the being of light because it was somewhat... Was not 100% transparent. 
and I can see some kind of transformation was happening to this warrior in this glorious being of light, right? Then, and, and not too long, maybe, maybe I, I don't know, maybe this few seconds passed, maybe a little bit longer than that. And uh, all of a sudden, the, the light went back up to the heavens and faded. And this warrior would start kind of lowing down, kind of floating down back to the ground again because he was in the midst of air. And all of a sudden, this warrior completely, he was completely transformed. He, it was interesting to describe, he looked nothing like before, but he was the exact same warrior. Yeah, he, he looked nothing like before, but I knew he was the exact same warrior. This was not a different person. And it, when when I when when he emerged from this being a light, he he looked the same but not the same. He literally got bigger, like he was several feet taller. It, it kind of remind me of the movie uh, 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 Captain America: First Avenger when Captain America got you know injected with the you know super soldier serum. You know how he got transformed, right? Becomes mighty and strong and prestige and all of that. It, it looked like that. That's what happened to his warrior because. He's the same person, clearly, but he looked very different. He was much bigger than before. His armor changed. Before, he has a silver-looking mix mixture with leather type of armor. All of a sudden, the armor that I see now is a mixture of gold and dark, rich bronze. Gold and rich bronze, deep color bronze. As you know, the color gold represents refinement by fire represent the holiness, purity, and the glory of the Lord. Also represent great wealth and power. And bronze represents boldness, represents strength, and represents righteousness. And the, just the power this warrior emerged was astounding, right? Just the presence was completely, totally different. And I can tell all of a sudden when this demonic entity saw this warrior now, he, the warrior didn't even draw the sword. Or anything like that and when I see the warrior emerge and he was on the ground he's he was taking the first step like forward towards the demonic entity all of a sudden the, the entity started just like fear gripped this demonic entity suddenly and he started to flee so Kevin what does that mean what does this mean and I really believe this is a word for seasoned mature believers especially ministers whether you're in the fivefold whether you're in the marketplace, I would believe this is lead, leaders in the kingdom that you've been weary, you've been beaten down. The, whatever battle that you've been battling, you never anticipated it was going to take this long. Whatever you're contending, was unlike probably anything other uh, uh, you ever have done throughout your walk with the Lord in your life. And, and there are time, moment, maybe multiple times you have gained back up over and over again. Like the righteous, righteous fall seven times, gets back up, right? And you are been getting back up, but you just, you was, you, you at the place of just, there's no more strength left. You become so weary, so tired, and you feel desolated. Cause that, and I remember this in this vision, this is a one on one battle. You are fighting this demonic entity, the strong man, one on one. And I feel like, so where's my help? Some of you like, where, where's my, where's my Calvary, right? Where's the other warrior and soldier in the kingdom come to my aid? But nevertheless, you've been faithful, contending and fighting with the Lord and doing everything that you know how to do and what you have learned with the Lord. And you feel like you are at the last straw. Like truly, you're at, you done all things you can't stand and you stand thereof right now. And... I feel even maybe recently that you experienced something that was even more draining to you. That, is, that you literally say, Lord, I can't do this anymore. Right? I feel like some of you crying, Lord, I can't do this anymore. Where are you, Lord? And we all been there. If we just be honest, all been there. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking to pastors, five-fold ministers, kingdom leaders. You could be Christian CEOs, entrepreneurs. I'm talking to you. Now, because I believe this is the this is the encouragement, the word of the Lord from you. Just like the vision, the Lord suddenly broke in and broke through. And the glory of the Lord was so overwhelming. The enemy fled. And and not not only the Lord, I believe the Lord is coming to your aid. 
the Lord, I'm not only the Lord is coming to your help, but I feel like this is has to do with your, your own transformation. You might, you may or may not realize this the entire time, the Lord's working on you, through you, strengthen you, and the transformation is about to birth forth through this process of seasoning, of pruning, of battle. Uh, that you about see the great manifestation that you probably have not realized or not seen in, in even in the battle as well as in just with your walk with the Lord. And I, I feel like the when the, when I saw the vision, instantly came to me with Psalm 18. One of my favorite Psalms in the scripture of what David wrote, right? And we all can relate David is one of these warrior king there. And I'm going to read some of the verses. I feel like it really... The Lord highlighted to me it's connected with this vision particularly. And we're going to pray. We're going to come in agreement by faith with you. That you'll be strengthened. That you'll be transformed. That your latter will be far greater than the former. So I want to read from Psalm 18. I'm going to jump to different verses that the Lord highlighted to me. I'm going to start from verse 13. Verse 13, okay. The Lord thundered from heaven. In the Most High, utter his voice. Hellstone and coals of fire, he sent out his arrow and scattered their foe. Lightnings in abundance, he vanquished them. He sent from above, he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hate me, for those who are too strong for me. It is God who arms me with strength, who makes my way perfect. He teach my hand make war. So my arm can bow, bend the bow of bronze. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me for those who rose up against me. It is God who avenges me. Subdue the people under me. Great deliverance. Great deliverance. He gives to his king. And show mercy to his anointed. To David and his descendant and forevermore. Beloved, I believe this is for you. This is for you. So let's just come in agreement and pray together. And believing that the transformation and manifestation of His purpose and glory will be manifested over your life. Over your calling. Over your ministry. Whether it's ministry in the business. Whether it's ministry in the marketplace. Whether it's ministry with other church and everything else. That you will see the salvation of the Lord. Father, we thank you for this even now. And we lift up this word in Psalm 18. Break in even today, God. Pour out your spirit. I'm coming in agreement with my brother and sister in Christ even now. With this, this minister of the gospel in the kingdom you have called. For such a time to us. That you will strengthen them again. Renew them with second wind. But more than just renewing and filling them. More than just healing and restoring them. Father, I pray mighty growth, mighty acceleration, mighty transformation is about to birth forth in the mighty name of Jesus. According to your glory, according to your power, according to your authority. By the divine destiny that has been written of them before the time began. So Father, we come in agreement right now. Break in and break forth. Let that be released today. Today. Today, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad right in it, even right now. And Father, I pray the acceleration of divine appointed time, just like Habakkuk, just like Psalm 106, release the fullness and the divine appointed time. Break in and break through and renew us. Renew each one of us with strength that we shall mount our wings like the eagle and soar, even now. By the Spirit of the Lord, send for angelic support, send for destiny helper, send for the Calvary that you have ordained for our lives. Father, we thank you this right now. We give you all the praise. We thank, we thank you all the glory and all the honor that we shall be in all of the things you are about to do and the transformation of the Lord in every area of our lives. Father, we just thank you right now. We we'll give you all the glory and honor and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, if this really minister you, and if you know another seasoned, mature believers, ministers, uh, 
you know, Christian kingdom leaders and etc. Send this word to them. I really believe this is this this is an in season word to them. And I just one thing I I, I want to share this. It's not my uh, thirty second promo. I just felt that if you resonate with this word, you need a community, a tribe that can help you to fortify you, so you don't fight alone, right? We are better together in the body of Christ. And the Lord has, uh, you know, uh, put on my heart and launched a specific kingdom leadership development community over a year ago when I started it. And it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. The Lord told me, do not charge a dime. Um, and for those who knew my background experience, I've been working with, you know, C-level executives, you know, leaders from all kinds of organization and industry over the last 25 years. And I believe the Lord created this community so he can incubate, he can raise up men and women of God that's called to different spheres of life, right? That are called to be leaders in the kingdom, to lead other leaders. So if you if you really need a community to to uh, among leaders and you want to cultivate and accelerate your leadership, I highly recommend check it out. I mean, you can go to my website under the mentorship page. And you can check out information. And if you have any questions, always can reach out to our ministry. But I, I seriously would ask you to consider and pray into uh, join this uh, kingdom leadership community. Again, I hope the word bless you. Share with others. God bless. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.